Nicolas Girard from Institut Curie in Paris. And during ASCO 2024, we have seen many data in oncogene addicted non small cell lung cancer. First, in the EGFR common mutation setting, we have seen updates of the Mariposa trial, but of more importance, two studies. We're looking at amivantamab with a subcutaneous formulation, one phase three study, Paloma 3, with a combination of amivantamab subcutaneous plus lazertinib, a third generation TKI, in the late life setting. After exposure to a TKI, after exposure to chemotherapy, we see uh, with this combination high response rate and prolonged uh, duration of efficacy. We have also supporting data from the Paloma 2 study, a phase 2 trial again with amivantamab subcutaneous formulation plus lazertinib in the first line setting, so very similar to the landmark registrational study, uh, which is Mariposa, and again reporting on similar uh, pharmacokinetics data and response rates. In the setting of uh, ALK positive non small cell lung cancer, we had the update from the Crohn uh, trial the landmark uh, study comparing lorlatinib versus crizotinib in the first line setting for these patients. Impressive data, a PFS rate of 60% at five years. This is the highest PFS ever reported in solid uh, cancers with a targeted treatment. We see the protective effect of lorlatinib against CNS disease, not only in patients with uh, CNS disease at baseline, but also in patients without uh, CNS disease. For Keras, uh, G12C mutant non small cell lung cancer, uh, results from the study with adagrazib in the second line setting versus docetaxel, a positive study in terms of progression-free survival and the safety profile of adagrazib was uh, manageable in this uh, cohort of patients. Finally, for R2 positive non small cell lung cancer, we saw the data with uh, Bay 292-7088 a TKI targeting uh, R2 mutant non small cell lung cancer, a cohort of patients naive uh, from R2 directed therapies, and a high response rate of 70% in this cohort of patients with a median PFS of 8.1 months, so highly promising data. Another study with another TKI targeting R2 mutant non small cell lung cancer, Zongertinib, pan uh, uh, tumor with some NSCLC patients with a lower, lower response rate and uh, data that need uh, to mature in terms of uh, follow-up. So many data in those subset of non-small cell lung cancer. We see how we can improve the outcomes of patients with those targeted agents, both in the late-line setting and in the first-line setting, alone or in combinations with other uh, agents.